Hey there, hi there, ho there, people of the world. What is up? It's Taylor. Keep watching the rest of this video for creepy stories, me doing this makeup, and a little update on my next videos. Okay. Hello, all you beautiful people. I am back and I am black. Black hair. Yeah, so I dyed my hair black. That's news. And I haven't made a video in a while, but I just decided to because I was watching some. And I decided to do a little get ready with me while I talk. Will I tell you about what's written in my title? Um, so I'm putting some primer on. You know what? Y'all can just fucking watch. Primer. If anyone's never told you, if you're gonna moisturize or wash your face or grime or whatever, if you're doing something with your hands, you gotta go up. Make sure you go up. Because if you go down, that's gonna sag your face. You gotta go up. I was watching these videos. They were talking about like, this creepy stuff that's been happening to them like ghostly shit in the house so i decided i was going to download uh one of those like ghost apps on my phone because why not if it doesn't work it doesn't fucking work so who really cares you know what i think is weird i part my hair this way but whenever i put it in a ponytail i put it on this side we're gonna put a side ponytail so y'all can remember that i have hair and that I don't look like a manly foot face, okay? So I decided to download one of those little apps and I'm gonna use it. That's not the point of this video. Um, Cause I haven't used it yet. But after I make this video, I'm gonna go do it. Actually, I might do it tonight when I'm with people. Well, I could do it by myself. I've been watching all these freaky videos and it just got me thinking about my life. <laughs> because I feel like I just have freaky shit always happening. I've had so many freaky things happen, whether it's in real life or in a dream. I don't know which one's scarier. <laughs> we'll start in order of these events, of how they happen. So <clears throat> first off, I had this dream that I died. And now this has happened twice. You're not supposed to die in your dreams, apparently. Apparently that's a thing. I don't know. If you know, then whatever. Tell me. But this is not working out. I just look like a foot. I had this dream a long time ago that I died. And I posted a video actually talking about that. So if you want to watch that one, I'll leave a link. Um, it'll pop up on the screen in a second now. <laughs> this is how I do my makeup. Very quickly and just don't care. So the second dream that I had that I died was even scarier because the first dream that I had I died I came back to life so you know that's just fucking fantastic like that's a good thing but this second dream I did not I have heard if you die in your dreams you die in real life so that's cool don't know if that's true don't know if that's an actual thing but so I heard through the grapevine have this shitty ass contour palette shit whatever but so what happened in my dream i'm not gonna talk about the beginning of it oh that was a lot <laughs> i'm not gonna talk about the beginning of it because the beginning of it was kind of personal i guess if you will long story short what happened at the beginning was a good thing i'm like standing in some building i don't know if it's a house or if it's just a building but i'm standing in it and the house is burnt down, but I see myself standing in the building. So I'm like watching myself in this building. It's all just black and burnt. Like you could tell there was a fire. I realize I'm watching myself because I'm fucking dead. I'm freaking out in my dream and I start running around and I end up finding my friend. She can see me dead, like as a ghost. I'm using eyeshadow for my eyebrows, judge all you want. But anyway, she can see my ghost and she starts talking to me. And I assure her that I'm dead, like I'm a fucking ghost. But I was like, I need to find a way to come back to life because you know, that's what I had done. In the last dream I died, I found a way to come back to life or I just, I didn't find a way, I came back to life. I'm like running around this town. I end up in some place and I was like near a stairwell, just like in this building and there was this, <laughs> There was this like older like hippie looking dude and he had long hair. He could see me as well, like my ghost, he could see me. 
literally feel like I'm about to fall over in my seat. It's not really a seat. So I'm in the stairwell with the both of them and I'm pretty much just like telling him what's going on. I don't remember what he said. We ended up leaving and then me and my friend are just like sitting on this bench and we're trying to figure out what the fuck to do. How I'm supposed to come back to life. I woke up before I could figure out how to come back to life. So this is concerning to me. <laughs> After hearing that you're not supposed to die in your dreams and then I have a dream I died and this time I didn't come back to life, freaks me out. I always have the weirdest dreams. Like, I had two dreams I died. I had a dream once that I was in this creepy old house and this old lady was coming and apparently it was a bad thing and she, like she was gonna hurt me. I had a dream more recently, like a week ago, that I went into the future. And it was weird because I'll explain this dream. So I was with four people, um, people that I had been hanging out with actually that night that I had the dream. And then the same friend who could see me in my last dream when I was dead was also there. Me and these four people were standing outside of this house and we were looking into like a, a window, like into like a living room or something. And my friend, the one that could see me in the other dream, was in the house, in the living room, standing there. And I like gave her a hug and I was just like through the window. I don't remember what I said. I was just like, hi, like whatever, good to see you, something, shit like that. The four of us are still outside, she's inside. And then all of a sudden we transport into the future. But we end up at the same house, same location, looking in the window, except my friend is now not there, obviously, because it's in the future. But everything looked the same. Like, the future was the same, and I think, I don't know how far in the future it was supposed to be, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be, like, I don't know, some years in the future, you know? Um, I'm trying to decide what kind of makeup I want to do today. Do I want to go like, BAM! Or do I just want to make it a natural day? Ooh, you know what? I am gonna go BAM. And I'm gonna do something fun. So I've been having all these weird dreams and I don't know what they're supposed to mean. I've been having all these weird things happening to me lately. One of the weird things that's been happening to me lately is I'm seeing butterflies everywhere. And I know that sounds weird and like, okay, Taylor, who gives a fuck? But I overthink everything. <laughs> And I think everything means something, and I think something runs in my family, spiritually, or whatever you want to talk about. It runs in my family, shit happens to us all the time, and I'm not just, like, trying to, like, hype that up. I'm not even hyping it up. So, <laughs> like, I'm just saying this is shit that happens. Like, shit you cannot make the fuck up. I've literally been seeing blue butterflies everywhere as I'm putting blue on my fucking eye. You see what I mean? <laughs> I've been seeing blue butterflies, specifically blue butterflies everywhere in movies, in TV shows, in people's Instagram profile pictures, in people's Instagram pictures, on people's Snapchats, outside my fucking door. Like, and then it's just progressed to seeing butterflies and some were yellow, some were monarchs. And it's really just been those three. And I know you're thinking, you're probably thinking Taylor. Calm the fuck down, it's just some butterflies, whatever. And when you write, you write, it's just some butterflies. But like I said, I overthink everything. Ugh. I'm a disgusting human being. <laughs> it's just been really weird and I'm like, what does it mean? So I looked it up, being who I am, and it said butterflies are a good thing. So I'm not worried about that. But I just feel like I've had so much happening lately that I just don't quite understand why it's happening. This might sound even stranger. I never feel alone. <laughs> like I always feel like someone's around me. Like, you know, when you get that hair on the back of your neck standing up feeling, like I feel like I have that almost 24 seven, by the way. I'm doing a rainbowed effect. So purple, blue, green, gonna move on. It's kind of hard for you to see, but I'll get closer up when I'm done. And I'm using these bright ass colors, so. Because I never feel alone, this is a big reason that I decided I was going to download that ghost detector app. 
Now, hear me out. I do believe in ghosts. But hear me out. I don't believe in bullshit. <laughs> so, the app could not work. And I will most certainly show you guys the app not working. Because I'm not gonna be that person who's gonna hype up something that doesn't work. Like, if I can debug something, I'll fucking debug it because I wanna know the goddamn truth. The only thing bad about this palette, like I love it, the colors are very bright, but the only thing bad is if you go over the same color to like blend it, if you go over a color that's in this palette, so it's like what I'm doing now, I'm using literally all the colors. If I go over one of them to like blend it, the other color will come off. So then I have to redo it. I don't know how well y'all can see that or how good it looks. But that's my fun look. <laughs> I'm so glad the camera was on. <laughs> oh, my seat just fell under me. That's cool. Now we're gonna use some highlight. Now I really look like a foot without my hair because I got the black hair and the black background. That's just what I was asking for. I don't remember what I was saying. I never feel alone, okay? I'm gonna use this eyelash curler. My brain has been so foggy lately. Like, I just feel like I can't think of anything. Like, I just always feel like there's someone around. Now, to go into my two other creepy stories. These are things that actually happened and not think not my dreams not like anything major it was just a feeling that i had which can't always just go off feelings oh she felt something she's haunted blah 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 that's not what i'm saying it was just creepy and i want to throw it out there i was just laying in bed one night and my man's is laying next to me this creepy ass feeling comes out of nowhere and it's just very overwhelming to me like it just like it just came out of nowhere and I look over like towards my bathroom and my closet door and I don't know I just got the weirdest feeling that we were being watched or like that someone was watching specifically me it was just really creepy I didn't see anything but the feeling was just like a feeling I never had before you know you get the feeling that someone's in the room with you like I could say I have a feeling someone's in here right now or at least in my bedroom see when i get feelings sometimes that people are around i'm just like just like oh <laughs> because i get this feeling a lot so usually when i do get the feeling that someone's with me i usually just kind of brush it off but this time when i got the feeling and maybe it was just because it was at night so i was like more creeped out but i just got this feeling man i could almost start tearing up how freaked out i was like i just was almost panicking nothing bad happened like that was the extent of that night like nothing happened i just got this really creepy feeling that someone was there and not a good someone i guess because if if it was a good someone why would i be having like this really creepy feeling you know like why would i be scared i usually don't get freaked out when i feel people around me when i feel like someone's around me I'm just realizing how like crazy all this sounds right now. <laughs> like I'm just talking to you about it like it's such a casual thing. So the next creepy thing that happened, and this is probably the weirdest thing that has happened, maybe not in my life, but it was, it was pretty freaky. So one night here at my apartment, I woke up at like six in the morning, dying of thirst, which is usual. I go out in the kitchen to go get some water. So the laundry room door was shut. It was like kind of cracked open at the same time. And I see underneath the door, and it's like one of those doors that has like the slits in it. So you can like kind of see through it. Like if there's light, you can see the light shining through. Well, we have a bright like yellow light that's in there. And I was looking at it and it looked like there was this dim, like purpley blue, very faded light. Like just like a glowing or something. Then in the middle of the door, on the ground, there's a shadow, like like as if someone's standing behind the door. There's a shadow behind the door, not in front of it. The shadow wasn't for me. There wasn't a shadow on the door. There wasn't a shadow on the ground in front of me. Like it was just maybe like this big and it was just solid. 
and like not two feet like it was just a solid shadow like this behind the door and we have a bunny so my original thought was maybe it's the bunny because sometimes we just let her roam around it's like maybe someone forgot to put her back in her cage then i see this shadow start to move and it's moving towards the entrance of the the opening of the door it's moving slowly but it's moving and i don't know i just got like this feeling i was like fuck this shit i'm out and i just left and i walked past the bunny cage because now i'm just really curious i walk past the bunny cage and the bunny is in her little house sleeping i don't know what that light was i don't know what the shadow was but i wasn't about to be stupid like in scary movies and go and it and die <laughs> not that i would have died i put highlighter on first what am i doing i can't think guys my brain has been so freaking out of it lately and i don't know why i think i've just got a lot going on that's why i haven't made videos that's a bug a bug just landed on my head what is going on <laughs> yeah so i don't know what happened that night i don't know what it was and I mean, it hasn't happened again. I don't know, maybe I should go investigate in the middle of the night and go see what's up. I don't really know what's going on with me. Those are my creepy stories. My lipstick literally looks brown in the camera right now. But it's just like a really deep red. So, this is my finished look. Take it or leave it. I'd leave it. Anyway, so that was just my creepy stories and... Let me know what you think of this shitty look. This eye looks better, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. They both look shitty, let's be real. Let me know what you guys think of my look. Let me know what you guys think of my creepy ass things that have been happening to me. And I'm actually going to be making some new videos soon. Uh, and I know I say that all the time, but I'm serious because I am going to start doing something that is going to be helpful to my life, my lifestyle, my health, and hopefully y'all want to jump on board and like see how it goes, see how it's actually working, if it works, and I'm not like gonna tell you about it now. I already know the shit works because I tried it for a couple days. It's a great thing, it's a great thing. Uh, it's something that's going to help with uh, my weight, <laughs> it's something that's going to help with my mood, my energy, my depression. It's something that's going to help with my health because I have a very weak immune system and it's going to help with that. It's gonna speed up my metabolism. It's gonna do all this shit. And I'm ready, so <laughs> it's gonna be huge. So if y'all are, uh, if any of those options, making any of those things better, sounds great for you too, then be tuned for my next video. Turn on my notifications so you know when I post because you will never know because it's so freaking random and I don't know when exactly I'm gonna be starting this. Oh, wow. Hey, the darker lipstick you wear, the whiter your teeth look. Okay. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video, bye. But I'm dodging the course I just signed another deal Daddy hating of course He don't wanna see me win Steady lying in court Thick ass artists don't like me Throwing rocks at my fort Big ass crib off in the hills You could